All right, what's up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to track conversions for your chat widget built in Go High Level and have them carry over to your Google Ads campaign so they track in the dashboard. So for example, uh, we have this chat widget here on our website. Um, pretend this was on your client's landing page or your landing page and you want to track conversions whenever somebody fills this out, right? So name, phone number, email, message, you wanna know when someone fills that out, it triggers a conversion inside of Google Ads. So that's what this whole video is about. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and go to your sub account and go high level. You're gonna to go to sites, then chat widget, and then you're gonna customize it. So I pretty much leave everything here as default. The only thing obviously is changing the color and your icon. So it should be your client's icon or whatever, right? And then chat type is gonna be SMS or email chat. This is not for live chat. So it is not for 24 seven coverage. I believe it is the same, the same setup. However, I just wanna you know, preface that, that this whole video is about the SMS or email chat where they just leave their information and then someone will get back to them. So just wanna point that out. A widget window, we always turn off agency branding and everything else is pretty much uh, as, and everything else is pretty much default and we leave or we turn on the email field. So once you know that, you're gonna go ahead and hit get code. You're gonna copy that code and then you're gonna go to your landing page. So in the funnel settings of your funnel and go high level, you can either turn on the chat widget right here. However, if you do that, then it will be on every page of your funnel. So if you have like a thank you page or order confirmation page or something like that, the chat widget will still be there. So if you want that to happen, then have this on. However, we don't want that. We only want it on the landing page, not the thank you page or the order confirmation page. So when you go to your landing page, let's pretend this is it. You're going to go to tracking code. You're going to go to footer tracking, and then you're going to paste your chat widget code there that you copied earlier. So make sure to do that only, only on the pages that you want your chat widget on. If you want it on your entire website or your entire funnel, all the pages, go ahead and go to the funnel wide settings here or or if you're on WordPress, make sure to download the Lead Connector plugin and then paste your API key for your sub account. You can find that in the settings on the business profile page and then make sure to enable the chat widget. Once you do that, let's say you're running ads to your website or something like that, you wanna enable that, go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, the next thing for Google Ads specifically is we're gonna create a conversion action. So let's go ahead and show you that. All right, so here we are in one of our clients Google Ads accounts. What you're gonna do is go to tools and settings and then you're gonna to go to conversions which is found under measurement right here. Once you're there, you're gonna hit new conversion action and guys, this this whole like UI has changed for multiple different clients. Some clients will have this option, manual import using API or uploads. Some will have different verbiage. Whatever it is, go ahead and read the Go High Level support document. But it's pretty simple. All you do is manual import or whatever the last option is here. You're gonna do track conversions from clicks. If there's another option that pops up, just say skip, okay? And then hit continue here. Now here you'll see all the settings for your new conversion action. If you see the new AI, you have to click like a settings icon and then click conversions action settings and then you'll see the same screen. So just quick FYI, we've seen that update in some of our clients Google Ads accounts. Now here what you're gonna do is go to goal and action optimization. You're gonna do converted lead. You're gonna make sure it's a primary action so it actually shows up as a conversion in the conversions column. So make sure to do that. We're gonna name this chat widget form. Okay, just so we know, you can customize it however you want, but that's what we're gonna call it in this video. We're not gonna use a value and we're gonna do one and then we always do last click and then we're gonna do create and continue, okay? So once that is set up, you're gonna go back to your client's sub account. All right, so here's our automation that you need for chat for a widget form submissions. And we call it any source because Go High Level only allows one chat widget per sub account. So your client can only have one chat widget. I hope they change it by the time of this recording, they only have one. And if you have your chat widget on your landing page, for example, and then on for Google ads, and then for your Facebook ads landing page, and then your website for like SEO, for example, then this is how you would do it. Now, we at our agency for our clients, we use pipelines. So every lead that comes from SEO, for example, we put them in the organic leads 
sales pipeline. If they come from Google Ads, then we put them in this specific pipeline. So we can differentiate and show our clients, hey, this is how many you know leads you got, how many you closed, etc. If your agency doesn't do that or you don't do that as a business owner, don't worry about this, but that is why uh, we set this automation up as I'm about to show you. If you are only putting your chat widget on your landing page for Google Ads and that is it, don't do this if else statement that I'm about to show you. Just go ahead and go ahead and copy this section right here, this list of six steps, which I'm about to show you right now. So with that out of the way, let me go ahead and explain this. So the trigger is customer replied. Okay, so if you just click on add new trigger, type in customer replied, it's right here. And then add filter, select a reply channel, and reply channel is chat widget. That is what we have here. Now, if you do live chat, I believe the same thing happens. You can go ahead and do it. However, I'm not 100% sure. We have just not ran into that yet. We don't use live chat at the, at, this time of the, at the time of this recording. So just use chat widget for now. That's what we use for our clients. Now, what we're going to do is add a wait step. So go high level support said, make sure to add a wait step of at least 30 seconds. So half of a minute. So we can go ahead and go high level can go ahead and pull all the information through. And this if else statement contains UTM parameters. And that's how this works. For example, if you have a chat widget for your website, Facebook ads and Google ads, you're going to want to do this. And you have different pipelines for each for your clients, etc. So first, let me go ahead and explain this. So there's this support document and go high level. You can go ahead and find this. It's just called how to set up Google ad reporting. What you're going to do is add this to your client's Google ads account. If you don't already now our Google ads course shows you how to do this. However, it's pretty easy. You can go ahead and add this at the account settings, but UTM source is really what we're looking for right here. So whenever somebody clicks on our client's ads, this is automatically going to be applied and passed through to go high level on our, in our tracking template, this, this is called a tracking template. We, we say Google ads instead of AdWords. So this is why it says UTM source equals Google ads, not AdWords. So just a quick heads up. If you copy this and use it, make sure to change this to AdWords, not Google ads. So let me go ahead and explain this. So UTM source equals Google ads. So how do you set this up? You're going to go ahead and select contact details, scroll all the way down under contact last attribution and you go to source contains. And then for our case, it would be Google ads. Again, if you use the go high level one, make sure to change it to AdWords without any capital letters. So that's what this first branch is. If the UTM source equals Google ads, it was so basically whenever somebody clicks on our Google ads and submits the chat form widget, they're going to go down this set of actions. However, if you want to duplicate this branch and then do Facebook, you can do that as well. So UTM source equals Facebook or Facebook form lead, because I've seen that come through before as well. And then lastly, we're going to duplicate that again. And then every other source. So if you're doing organic websites, SEO, essentially, you're going to want to do this. So source is not Google ads and source is not Facebook. So basically anything other than those two. If you have other, if you have other services like TikTok or something like that, you may want to add that as well. But let me go ahead, now that I've explained that if else branch, we're gonna go ahead and talk about this down here. So what happens after that, right? So if they are from Google ads that we're gonna do add, we're gonna go ahead and add, just type in Google, add to Google AdWords. Why do we do that? Well, your account should be integrated with Google ads. If it does not, make sure to do that. How would you do that? You would go to settings, integrations, and then make sure your your client's Google Ads account is integrated in here. Once you do that, all the conversion actions, the ones that we set up earlier will show up here. So you would go ahead and select it. You would click other. So let me show you our, our actual client's account. So add to Google AdWords, it'll say other, you're going to select other and then chat widget form or whatever the conversion name is. You want it to be exactly the same. It cannot have any misspellings or extra space. So whatever your conversion action, whatever name you gave it, make sure it's the exact same right here. So that make sure to do that. That's the first step. That's what triggers the conversion and imports any chat widget form submission to Google ads. So I hope that makes sense. The next thing we do is add to the pipeline. Now, if you don't use pipelines or your agency doesn't use it for your clients, don't even worry about this. You're okay there. Google ads sales pipeline. We add them to the new lead stage. Then we wait uh, like 10 seconds. Then we email our client. So this would be your agency name, your agency email address, and then your agency leads notification email and your client's email so they know now what about chat how do, how do you pass through what they said in the chat widget to your clients and to yourself 
How do you do that? Well, you're gonna go ahead and go back to workflows. You're gonna go to marketing, email templates, and then form submission email templates. And then I created one called chat widget form submission. Now here it just says hi location name. So let's say hi ABC plumbing. You got a new lead below are their details. Now the chat widget only asks four things, name, email, phone number, and message. Now for the message, whatever they type in, you need to use the message body, not contact message or anything like that. So message and then message body. That's what you need to use. That's what go high level support says. So just make sure you do that save that template and then our automation our automation sends that that all that information via email to whatever emails we put here and again this is an internal notification step not a email step and what i mean by that is do not say send email because that's going to send an email to the lead you want to do internal notification okay you're going to select email and then here's everything that you have there as well so i hope that makes sense we also send a text to our clients we have a text message template as well how would you do that you're going to go so to do that you would go to marketing and then template snippets basically copy your email template add text template and then paste it here name it chat widget form submission i did that here so i copied it basically from the email template put it here and then now our clients will get texted that information as well, assuming you are A2P certified or toll free numbers are registered. And then lastly, we go ahead and add a tag and we do this for a reporting reason. So Google ads chat widget submission. If it's from Facebook, we do Facebook ads chat widget submission. It would go to the Facebook ads pipeline and then same for organic. So website chat widget submission. So I hope that makes sense. I know there's a lot in this video, but chat widgets are cool. They can really drive conversions for your Facebook ads for your landing page, for your website, etc. And I know this video is a little bit lengthy, so leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And also guys, if you want this in your own account, we have a Google Ads Mastery course, which, which includes this entire snapshot, which includes all of our automations for everything, including our new community. So if you buy our course, you get uh, access to this brand new community where you can ask questions about Google Ads, you ask questions about Go High Level. So make sure to Check that out in the description below. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys on the next one.